Hello everyone, it's Michael here with the World of Michael Trent and today is a follow-up video. Um, the previous video to this was me showing you the wedding folio that I made for Hui's sister Anna and her husband Roberto. And the last couple of days I've spent putting all the photos into it. Um, doing something with the front cover and having a little fun on the inside. And I just wanted to take you through a walkthrough of how the folio looks um, with everything finished. Um, she's coming here tomorrow, so I'm hoping and praying that she loves this. Um, like I explained the other day, the folio measures about eight and a half by 11 by a half inch and if you remember when I did the walkthrough of the folio without the photos I was concerned about this half inch section and that I may not have left enough may not have given this side enough space um, the photos this does come out a little bit it doesn't really bother me and I don't think it's gonna bother Anna but I know that next time I do this um, this side I can leave at a half inch, but I think this side I want to bring up to three quarters of an inch or maybe even an inch so that the book uh, sits a little more closed. Anyway, the front cover I added, um, let's see, what do we have here? Um, I did a scallop border here. This is a, a nestabilities die. The, let's see, I have some of this stuff here. The Nestabilities die, it's an oldie, it's an oldie. It's, um, what is this one called? Floral Daily Motifs. Um, I've had this for a long time. This was the largest, um, this was the largest die in the package. On the inside, then I cut a, a white circle, uh, just a circle die with white paper. And then I adhered this, um stamp it's called stacked hearts from simon says stamp and then i i glued it down with black border and then i die cut it again to add the red hearts on the inside uh the bride and groom the bride and groom is a die from tattered lace uh, it's called Couple. This is another very old die that I've had around for a while. And then the arrow is from Reverse Confetti. Um, I don't know if this is retired. I don't know if this is retired. I will leave links below to everything I used in case you guys are interested to look for it. Um, I popped the bride and groom up on some foam dots and I layered a piece of white behind it um, just to make the white pop a little bit and I put some crystals on the dress and I put some crystals around the the scalloped um, die. I actually used this die because of this paper here. I felt that this edge kind of went along with this over here. So then I apologize for the shadows. It's night here and I'm playing with lights and I'll get this down someday. Anyway, you open this up and I love this part. So this is Roberto and this is Anna. This was a photo that was together, but there was a weird, the way the photo was taken, there was a weird light thing in here and I, it was bothering me a lot. So I cut them apart, I put them here, and then I used, uh, this is a set from Impression Obsession. And I, I his, his hand was originally here with he was holding his sunglasses and Anna was laughing. So I die cut all the flowers and I glued them down here. I thought it went well with the flower paper here. And then I have her over here laughing as if it's a joke that he actually gave her flowers. Then I have here Anna and Roberto with the date of uh, the wedding. I used um, the alphabet die here is called Parker Upper and the Parker numbers from Memory Box open this up and over here I glued in all the photos. Uh, I left the other side blank for her to do with this as she wishes. 
and I started with the wedding and then I ended down here with uh, them cutting the wedding cake. And then there are other photos inside here that shows the progression from the wedding to the reception. Um, oh, over here. Oh, I forgot to glue this down. Okay. This is a photo I took of the flowers and I'm going to adhere it here, I think. I don't know whether to keep this plain or to adhere this here. I'll figure this out. Um, <laughs> on this side, I put in these, uh, his, her sisters and her brother-in-law signing the, the, being the witness to the wedding. Here are the rings, the people watching the ceremony. And I used uh, a Polaroid die here just to pull more photos in here. Then I have some photos here on each side, the different, this is the, the wedding part, the ceremony. And then I have here a photo of them cutting the cake. And then when you open it this way, there's other photos. These are of the family. I did these, uh, I printed them, uh, these are four by sixes. So there's four four by sixes here. And then for the center part, um, I have the family group photos here after the wedding in the park. Here's another group shot here. Down here, there's another group shot here. And then I cut some photos down here for each side here. And then here is the main photo of the two of them, bride and groom. And that's about it. Um, I, left the um, I left the back plain, like I explained. I had a lot of problems with the names. Uh, people were telling me to adhere them here, but I didn't like the names here. I, I liked this black and white with just a splash of color on the front. And I, I thought it was kind of fun to do the name like this since she's laughing. And this page here gives it more of a, a whimsical feel. Anyway, I would love to know what you guys think. I am working on a tutorial. I hope to do this by video and as a downloadable PDF. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like my channel and click on that bell to be notified when I upload another video. This is 2019 and I'm hoping to upload a lot. Anyway, thank you so much. Please leave your comments below. I will answer everyone's comments if I can get to them. And I appreciate it. Until next time.